count your blessings. Are we there? Exodus chapter 15 from verse 1 to 10. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and spoke, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Kyrios chariots and his army he has cast into the sea. His chosen captain also are drowned in the Red Sea. The dead have covered them. They sank to the bottom like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has dashed the enemy in pieces. And in the greatness of your excellence, you have overthrown those who rose against you. You sent forth your rods, it consumed them like a stumble. And with the blast of your nosery, the waters were gathered together. The floors stood upright like a heap, the dirt congealed in the heart of the sea. The, earth, the enemy said, I will pursue. I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My desire shall be satisfied on them, and I will draw my sword, my arm shall destroy them. You blew with your wing, the sea covered them, and they sang like lead in the mighty water. Praise the Lord. This is the song that Moses composed after the deliverance that God gave to them at the Red Sea. We can see in chapter 14, from verse 8 to 14, how the Lord had in the heart of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and he pursued them. And when he pursued them, and the children of Israel, they taught her, thank God, we have finally got our freedom from this wicked king. And they were going. But unfortunately, they just turned back and they saw the army of, of uh, Pharaoh following them. And fear greeted them. And they were so perplexed. They were troubled. They cried. So many of them said so many things, so many terrible things against You said, God said, now you see what has happened. And they were all confused. But thank God for Moses, a good leader. Moses gave a prophecy in the name of the Lord that he said, Do not be afraid, verse 13. Stand still, and you shall see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptian whom you see, today you shall see again no more forever that is verse 14 verse 13 praise the lord so it was a situation they tell you from there but according to the word of god that came through the mouth of moses that the lord will show you salvation and it came to pass in that verse 15 that we read verse 2 he said the lord is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My Father God, and I will exalt him. Praise the Lord. So, the Lord brought the miracle as he promised. The Lord brought them salvation, and he delivered them. The Red Sea, that the children of Israel passed through successfully, became the pit that swallowed the Egyptians. Praise the Lord. And if you look at our life from the beginning of this year, we will see a lot of terrible situations that has happened. Sometimes it will look as if is there going to be way out. It will look as if what next? Because looking at the front and the back, it seems there is no solution. 
And in all, God showed himself mighty. Praise the Lord. So let us begin to look back from January. A time of a, a pandemic when the fear grew the heart of everybody. There's nobody that was not afraid. Sincerely speaking, don't shake hands, don't talk in the public, don't do this, and everybody you are afraid. But in all, God saw us too. Raise up your hand and say, Thank you, Jesus. He has become our salvation, He has become our song. He has become our strength in a time of terrible situation, a time of fear and discouragement. When our faith is about melting away, yet God show himself mighty in our life and he delivered us. Verse 3, he said, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Onobunyomiwa. He's a man of war. No wonder when we fight, all we need to do is to say in the name of Jesus and we see miracle happening. Why? Because this God is a man of war. And a lot of battle he fought for her this year. So many battles when we are sleeping, so many battles when we are going on the road, so many battles in our places of war. A lot of terrible things that's supposed to have happened to us by omission and commission. But God did not allow them to happen. The desire of the enemy did not come to pass in our life. If you go to verse uh, 9, he said, The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spawn. My desire shall be satisfied on them. The Lord that did not allow the desires of the enemy to be satisfied upon your life. Upon your family, do you think it's by your strength? Do you think it's by your power? No, it is just because God is a man of war and he take pleasure in fighting the battle of the life of his children, and that was why he fought those battles. Not because we are faithful enough, sometimes we do not even execute enough faith, we were discouraged in so many areas. Sometimes we are afraid more than expectation. Yet, God will not mind us. And he show forth himself. Mighty. His right hand, says, he said, the right hand, oh Lord, has become glorious in power. Can you remember when the hand of God was put forth into your life? And the situation that you thought was going to end your life, the Lord turned it around. And he turned the table against the enemy. What the enemy thought would happen to you now become their portion. Say hallelujah to you, Jesus. I want us to stand to our feet and sing this song. What about this one? This one that is bringing fear. You are going to sing it that. Where are you, my vanish? 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 Yeah. 
to the Lord, for He has triumphed gloriously, the heart and its brightness, He has Samuel chapter 7, we are still going to sing, count your blessing. Second Samuel chapter 7, I read from verse 18 to 24. We want to see the account of David when we recall the mercy of God upon his life. From verse 18. Then King David went in and sat before the Lord, and he said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is my house, that you have brought me this far? That you have brought me this far? What is your own name? And what is your house? What is the good thing about you that is so much special than any other person's own? That have made God to bring you this far. Hallelujah. Verse 19. And so, and yet, this was a small thing in your sight, O Lord God. You have also spoken of your servant house for a great while to come. You do not only do it for me, but in the life of my children, I am seeing it, and in the generations to come. I am seeing your miracle. You are speaking forth into my future that it is going to be well with me. Hallelujah. Notwithstanding the situation I'm passing through now, notwithstanding what I see around, that it is well with my soul. And yet this was a small thing in your sight, oh Lord. And you have also spoken of your servant's house for a great while to come. Is this the manner of man, O Lord God? Now what more can David say to you? For you, Lord God, know your servants. 
For your words say, and according to your own heart, you have done all this great thing to make your servant there. Because of your name, because of your word, it's a miracle for us. Notwithstanding our unfaithfulness, notwithstanding our nonchalant attitude, what we suppose ought not to do that we do, notwithstanding all this, God, because of your word and according to your own acts, you have done all these great things to make us happy, to make us know them. He said, Therefore, you are great, O Lord God, for there is no like you, nor is there any God beside you, according to all that we have had in our ears. And who is like your people, like Israel, the one nation on the earth whom God went to redeem for himself, as a people to make for himself a name, and to do for yourself great and awesome deeds. For your land, before your people, whom you have redeemed for yourself from Egypt, the nation, and their gods. For you have made your people Israel your very home people forever, and you, Lord, have become their God. Psalm 8. Psalm 8. He said, O oh Lord our God, how excellent is your name in all the heart. Who have set your glory above the heavens? He said, Out of the mouth of babes and mercy infants, you have ordained strength. Because of your enemy, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your finger, the one and the stars, which you have ordained. He said, what is man that you are mindful of him? Hallelujah. What is Dara that you are mindful of her? And the son of man that you visit him. You have made him a little lower than the angel. And you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the world of your hand. And you have put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the bird of the air and the fish of the sea, that pass through the path of the sea. O oh Lord our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the heart. Hallelujah. Because of himself, he has done great and mighty things in our life, not because of our righteousness. If you look at the life of David, David happened to be the one that they, initially they did not believe in him. And even his own father, he did not believe in him. Because if he had believed in him, when prophet Samuel came and said, bring all your sons, he had to remember that there is one in the farm. But because he taught the youngest, he taught the youngest, See his elderly ones. Komata. And that one that they thought Komata was the one that God had interest in. There are so many situations in our life that the enemy thought, what can come out of it? There's nothing good that can come out of it. There's nothing good that you can do. But in that situation, God silenced the enemy. Hallelujah. He said, verse to be because of your enemy, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. And the Lord did that in the life of David. And I know that in so many areas he has done it in our life. Yes or no? That he will just silence the mouth of the enemy. Sometimes the friend can be enemy. And they will say it is not possible. Lord Joko, not lie. Possible. And by the time God will do it, it will ah. So, for her this year. And so, David, 
Even after he won that battle that he was ordained as king, he faced so many troubles again. The enemy still said he's not going to be the king after the anointing. And King Saul became his adverse enemy. So they chasing him one after his life from one pillar to pole. But God saw him through. And so when he calculated the thing that he passed through in life, he said, ah, ah, God, what is my name? What good have I done for you? Nothing. Sincerely speaking, nothing. There's no something so special about us. It just pleased God to silence the enemy because of his name. Hallelujah. And so if it pleased the Lord to silence the enemy because of his name, then we need to give him praise. It doesn't matter what it, he has not done. What about those ones he has done? And in those areas that you are thinking that uh, this one will be fortunate to hear what the enemy is saying, you will roll before the Lord. My one of my uh, children used to tell me sometimes that, ah, and he thought he had so many problems that he wanted to end his life. And when you now begin to hear what people say, say, ah, eh, and you are still uh, uh, envying me, I said they will envy you. Because the Lord has done it for you. So it was like, what has he done for me? And the enemy wanted to kill him because of those glorious things that they see. You are the one that you not see. And it is better for us to see. So we need to sit down and check. One by one. The goodness of God. Don't let us put our, our praises on those things he has done alone. Let us think about who he is. You know, if you concentrate on those things he has done, the enemy will remind you of those things he has not done. But praise him because he is God. You know, the first thing he said is the man of war. He is a great God. And because of this, I will praise him. How excellent is your name in all the hearts. Because you have set your glory above the heaven. That one cannot be changed. Whether you eat or you don't eat, the devil cannot display that. Praise him because of who he is. Sit and can't reflect on his goodness. And that is how the Lord has been doing for us. What he has promised to do in our life, because there was, they, they tried the blood of David, but they could not succeed. And exactly he will do for us. In the name of Jesus. I want us to stand again and sing. Only no you no go. No you no go. You be testing me day. Me o mo. Mo mo le bebe. O ta go o mo pe mo le bebe. Me go agbar a lo ta be. Let us stop with David from becoming king. But David became king. And not only that. God promised David that forever and ever, David will always have representative on the throne. And that is exactly what is done for us. Only one year ago, one year ago, we be
Let us go back home and take our pen and write. What has he done in the month of January? What has he done in the month of February? In the month of March? Like that, like that. If we used to keep prayer diary, that will help us. Let's take it and begin to mark. Those ones he has done. And those ones that he has not done. Because he will do them. Hallelujah. Because he will do what? He will do them. Allah will not share you. What will they share you? Where are you? Allah will not like that. Allah will not share you. 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 Allah will you was if you are one one you want Hallelujah. So let's write down and say, Lord, this one you have done. Over every small thing. Somebody was giving us what happened in our, in our presence today. Just today, December 1. She said she passed a particular place this afternoon. And within five, ten minutes that she was coming back, one terrible thing has happened. And what happened? Five to tombe, a finger de mille, but you should a bread dish. Ode, je kumbe. and when he was telling us, I just remember what happened to me some years ago. I wanted to cross express in the world. And I climbed that express. I know we said I should get down. And I get down. In the few seconds that I get down, one trailer was just coming. Five put also in all the minutes here. Five put your bed, Jabba. He beats him with you. Oh, bed, Bala, you know, Shalala. To Shalati. I put your mood, you know. You don't do your mood, you know. So many troubles, so many wala put as a result of God delivering us from trouble. One of my pastors told me sometime that he was invited to minister in the wedding program and he was behind so he was trying to. Hurry up, hurry up, and he wore a bada. Unfortunately, when he was about to leave uh, the entrance, the angle of the door just here is a bada. As he was a man, ah, he what is the meaning of this? So he had to go back inside. He check out the one that fits that caliber of uh, location. But it is not hired. So he just had to instruct the boys to hire it. And so that took about some minutes from his time. So he left. When he got to the park, he decided not to go with his car. When he got to the park, somebody was ahead of him, and the boss remained one person. And the person rushed and shook and entered. So he was angry. 
of Badaya. Sorry. So we went, he entered the next door. And you made us. They will call, 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 call before that one. And when they were going on the road, that bus that is supposed to enter have accident and the bus right on. And so they have to stop there and they were, what they were good, one, one, yes, later. And he said, ah. So sometimes, tell them about the Shewani, other people Shewani. She want to buy a job, want to buy a shake, she want to buy a shake, she want to buy a shake, she want to buy a shake, the Bible says all things work together for good for those that love. So in as much we love God, when we see terrible things happen, we can see action. What is the good you want to bring us in this situation? So what that we will still maintain our joy and our peace in the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to sing again. Hallelujah.
I will be able to come with my diary and say, Father, you have done this. 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 You will perform those things that remain. Because you are man of war, those things that remain, you are perfect. I want to believe you are praying. Only why I talk to you, I shall not show you. Don't you know you are only what you are calling. You are not sure you are going to go. You are not going to go. You are not jam up with you. You are not going to go. You are not going to go. appreciate the Lord because he has done it for us. Let's thank him because he is Alpha and Omega. He is the God in the month of January. Even in December, he is still our God. So we cannot be afraid of the month of December. The Lord created all months. And he has promised to be with us. If he could be with us in January, till December, he cannot fail his words. He said because of your words, because of his laws and according to his own heart, he will do that which he has promised to do for us. Nothing shall fail from his promises. Those things that seems to remain, he will perfect them. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you adoration. 